Since the dawn of man, we have looked up and wondered about the mysteries of outer space. We still know little about it, and we know even less about inner space, the space inside our heads. You are looking at the most sophisticated computational information processing system ever made. It is lightning fast, clever, adaptive, and can often tell if something is wrong with it. In fact, there are as many neurons within this boy's brain as there are stars in the galaxy he is currently viewing. But the universe inside his head, and yours, and mine, is still so vast and so unexplored that we can barely understand how a three-pound human brain knows how to pick up a glass of water and drink it. The mysterious human brain. We know enough to know we've only just begun to understand the basics. We're not clueless though. We do know a few things, and those things I like to call brain rules. It's extraordinary what some of our brains can do. Go ahead and multiply the number 8,388,628 times two in your head. Can you do that in a few seconds? Eh, probably not. There's a young man who can double that number 24 times in the space of a few seconds. He gets it right every time. There's a boy who can tell you the precise time of day at any moment, even in his sleep. There's a girl who can correctly determine the exact dimensions of an object 20 feet away. Yet none of these kids could be taught to tie their shoes. Indeed, none of them have an IQ greater than 50. Your brain may not be nearly so odd, but it is no less extraordinary. My goal is to introduce to you 12 things we know about how that extraordinary brain works. The brain rules cover such topics as exercise, memory, stress, sleep, vision. The supporting research for each of my brain rules must first be published in a peer-reviewed journal and then successfully replicated. The problem is that so much of what we do in our modern world ignores these brain rules. We try to drive while talking on our cell phones, even though it is literally impossible for our brains to multitask when it comes to paying attention. We have created high-stress office environments, even though a stressed brain is significantly less productive. Our schools are designed so that most real learning has to occur at home. That could be funny if it weren't so harmful. Let's find out why.